<laughs> now, our studio has been covered in a sea of red and pink oh. as British raspberry season has actually arrived. Chloe Derma. Lab. There you go. Shoot. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Huge raspberry success in the garden. She's live from there now to show us how to make them into a delicious dessert. Hello, Cloda. Good morning. I am making a delicious raspberry bakewell cake. I've picked the most beautiful raspberries. As you said, they're all in season. They're perfectly ripe. I've just finished um, picking them. And then I'm going to show you how to make this cake the most simple way I think you might ever see a cake be made in your life. And you can do it in your garden. You just need a little run to the electricity. Um, I've got my food processor and I'm putting in softened butter. So softened button butter goes in here. I'm putting in caster sugar. And then I'm putting in self-raising flour. And then next up, ground almonds. And they go in, they give that beautiful, rich flavour and, of course, that lovely kind of nutty almond flavour too. And then I've got a vanilla extract, about a teaspoon of that goes in. And then this morning, um, I gathered up my eggs from the chicken. So these are freshly laid eggs and I'm going to pop two of these into the food processor. And that is basically the base. Now, we're going to add the raspberries in a second, but this is the base of the Bakewell cake. And then all you do then is pop on your food processor, blitz it away. Raspberry beret. Oh, and have a little kitchen dance. <laughs> and while that's blitzing as well, you want to prep your cake tin. I've got a spring form cake tin here. Oh, it's done already. I've got a spring form cake tin here, which I've greased and lined with parchment paper. Pop your oven on um, to preheat at 180 degrees Celsius or else 160 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven. And then what you do is you get your batter out and that literally took, what, 30 seconds to mix together. Let me move these to the side like that. And this is where we kind of do the kind of assembly with the raspberries to make it that delicious raspberry cake. So you take out half of the batter first and you pop it into the base of the tin. Let me just get about half of that out. I'm always so tempted to lick the spoon. Or my finger. They're clean. <laughs> with the dough, I love the dough. And what you want to do is just spread it out to the base. Now, because we have self-raising flour in here and because of the lovely fresh eggs, or any eggs that you have, really, um, it will lift it lovely. So when you're putting it out first, you think, mm, is there enough batter in there? There is. It gives a really lovely lift when it goes into the oven. Now, I'm going to put on two thirds of my raspberries. So two thirds of the raspberries go in and we spread them all around the base of the cake, nice and evenly, so that they're really nicely, evenly spread out. It's 250 grams of raspberries in total, which is one of those regular punnets that you get in the supermarkets. And they are everywhere in the supermarkets. So that's the first layer. Doesn't that look lovely? And they're lovely and juicy. The raspberries this year are really gorgeous and big and juicy. And we're having a really good raspberry season. And it's early, I think, as well this year. Um, and then I'm going to put the rest of the cake batter on top so that we don't the thing is, what you don't want to do is put all the raspberries in, you know, because a lot of recipes sometimes for Bakewell tarts like this, they put all the recipes in, or recipes, raspberries in straight away. And if you do that, then you'll only have raspberry in the middle and you won't have it in the top. We want to spread out the raspberry joy throughout the whole cake. OK, let me get all the rest of this out now. There we go. Pop that to the side. And then I'm going to spread it out with the back of a spoon. Like that. So it's evenly spread out again. And then what I'm going to do is put the last one third of them in, of the raspberries in. And then you just want to pop those around. Oh, this one's still got its little, little sprig on from the bush. And, oh look, and I've even got these little golden ones. I don't know if anybody's started growing these golden ones. They're a really lovely variety of raspberry. They're a lovely yellow one. And they actually taste so sweet. Let me see if I can get another one for you here. There you go. That's what they look like. Oh, it's gone. 
One second. Here it is. Kind of slightly crushed. Mmm, so good. Okay, spread out the rest of the raspberries and then go on the almonds. So the flaked almonds go on top and that's the real signature, you know, Bakewell cake. This is a cake, not a tart. You'll see there's Bakewell tarts as well, but that's making the pastry and everything. This is like a really cinch version. This goes into the oven, the preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees fan oven, like I said earlier, for 50 minutes. And then when it comes out, let it cool in the cake tin for about 10 minutes and then take it out and let it cool completely on the cake rack for until it's completely cooled. And then it comes out looking like this. How gorgeous is this? You dust it with icing sugar. And I love serving it up with mascarpone or double cream or creme fraiche. I'm going to take a little slice so you can see the inside as well and see how all those raspberries are lovely inside. They're all really nicely spread out. But let's have a taste. Guys, are you going to have a taste? Well, we've, yeah. we, we've kind of finished it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've, we've had every last when you, say, when you say have a taste, we, we, we might have done that already. <laughs> to a degree, Cloda. It's delicious, Cloda. It's good, isn't it? It's so, so nice. nice. Thank mm. you so much. And your mm. garden looks beautiful. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, it's not great. bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely yeah, I mean, in season. This summer is fantastic. I know. Thanks, Thank Clodagh. you so much, Cloda. It's delicious. Next time you come down, we'll bring us a few of them punnets as well, will you? Yes, definitely. Listen, for all those details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, head to the This Morning app. Yeah, still to come.